I hope you had a nice experience yesterday. It's good to see you again. It's good to see you too. Ah, uh, hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Aberstorff, and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. So, in the last episode, we were introduced to the characters Connor, uh, Alice, Kara, Kara, and Marcus. They are like our main ones. So, now we are going to continue on throughout the story. And last night before I went to bed, I did some research into the game, and I saw the only way to get the best ending, like the best ending in the game, is that I need to keep 10 characters alive. <laughs> Which is like, oh, jeez. <laughs> no pressure or anything. So we're going to continue on throughout our experience. Experience. Loading, 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 loading. Ning. <laughs> But I think this game is starting to take effects on me, because now I'm starting to stress out. Because I've seen, like, some of the bad endings, and endings, especially with uh, Connor, Honor, and Kara, and after seeing those, it's just like, it's now putting stress on my head, like, oh no, I can't let this sadness happen. I got to prevent this future. future. This is why I don't play these games. <laughs> oh, but it's raining. Jimmy's bar. Oh, this is where we're going to be, Hank. Ah, and there's our boy, Kana. No androids allowed. Owners will be prosecuted. Ah, it kind of... Ah, it kind of reminds me a little bit of, like... Like, in that scene in Star Wars, where the droids go into the bar, and they're like, We don't serve your kind! Find Lieutenant Anderson. Ah, yes, the good old Lieutenant. Let's see. Well, I know what he looks like, but I'm still gonna scan some peeps. What is your name? Derek Myers. Okay, you are not him. Okay, that's the bartender. What is your name? Jimmy Peterson? Wait, who is that? Which one am I even going? Oh! There we are! Lieutenant Anderson! I found him! Excuse Lieutenant me, Mr. Anderson. Anderson. Hello! My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I I'm the android sent the station, by Cyberlife. But nobody knew where you were. Hmm. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. <laughs> I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. Wow. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide. Involving a Cyberlife android. Oh, yes, the in homicide. With procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Um. Let's see. Listen, I think you Reason? should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. Yes, sir. Or are you still gonna drink? Hmm. Let's try a different approach. Um. Understanding? I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but. I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Let's buy him another drink. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender? The same again, please. Yes, sir. See that gym wonders the technology. There we go. Neutral. Get a double. Perfect. Okay, we're on the right path to friendship. And ship. Because part of the goal is that, well, is to have Connor and Hank get that father-son relationship. Okay, so we're off to a good start. Are you good, sir? <sighs> Did you say homicide? Alrighty. We're good. Let's go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Does this mean we're gonna go into our investigation? Oh yes, the second investigation. Perfect. Ah, see, as I mentioned in the last episode, like there are still people who drive like regular cars. All right, so far I've mainly seen like the police force and the buses. Um. Whatever you say, Lieutenant. Yeah. There we go. Fucking a. Conflicting orders. Selecting priority. Follow Lieutenant Anderson. Okay, partner, wait for me. 
Josh Douglas from Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. The police are here. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's all right. I'm Detective. Me. I'm Detective Connor. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Understood, Even sir. Even Hank, we were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. You're welcome. So, God, you're so oh, he had a goatee. Right, huh? I didn't notice that, like, funny. Just in tell the other that. videos that I've seen. Okay, there we go. So he thought he drove by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Okay, why can't I go in? Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. Yeah. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. Whoa. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. I am alive. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed easy. In. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. Hmm. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. Yeah. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. All right. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Investigate the crime scene. Okay. Briefing concluded. Oh. Well. Each letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human right. Packages of red ice. The same material that we found. It's like that we found in Todd Williams' house. The victim used drugs. No fingerprints. Android involvement? Most likely. Let's get a sample. Like the blue bud. Hmm. Oh, Very high in iron. You doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? <laughs> got it. And he does that later on. Oh, fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. <laughs> Belongs to Carlos Ortiz. Dried blood. Blood. I can't help it. I want to channel my inner Batman Chris, while I'm doing this. Is this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Examine. The victim used red ice. 20, uh, 28 knife wounds. And of course the victim's name is Carlos Ortiz. What am I missing? Ah. Found his fingerprints. Let's reconstruct you, shall we? The victim... The victim fell here. The victim was stabbed. They came from the kitchen. Stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Or something. I am alive. Regular letters. Okay, I reviewed three. Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. 
Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotic. Try Plex. Consider it done, Lieutenant. God. Oh my god, this control is the arch enemy of the game. It's official. This control. An Eden Club. Yeah, that's it. Oh, come on. Frickin' walk up! Oh my god. Oh my god, this is gonna drive me insane. Dry blood. More dry blood. Oh, exit. This is where the murder weapon was taken from here. A baseball bat. A hard dent. Violent impact. Fingerprints belonging to Ortiz. He used the weapon. Deviant took the knife. And the Deviant was attack. Emotional shock. Fingerprints. Signs of a struggle. Is there anything else? Okay, hey, one more piece of evidence to find. Oh, outside. Oh my god, that... I officially hate this control! It is... It's the arch enemy, and I'm using a different controller from yesterday, so it's like, what the heck? Shoe footprints. Door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Ah. Okay, is that our last piece of evidence? I think that's all ten. The Deviant didn't escape this way. So the question is, where did it go? Okay, is that all... Oh, wait, no. I didn't, ch didn't check the bathroom. That's right. The right, the restroom. Oh, my God. My god, Connor, what is going on with you? RA9. Offensive writing. Oh my god, it looks like an alien. Religious offering, perhaps? An RA9 written all over the walls. It's like something Arkham would have. Okay, is that all 10 evidence? Yes! Now then, let's go talk to a... Let's go talk to the man, or man Anderson. Okay. Lieutenant. Lieutenant. I think I figured out what happened. Yes. Oh yeah. Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started in the kitchen. In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. 
question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... With the bat? With the bat! That lines up with the evidence. Go on. stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, that's good. Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room? The living room. And he tried to get away from the android. Alright, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim... ...with the knife. Awesome. Okay. Your theory's not totally Hi. ridiculous. It doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat... ...and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers Android's bio-components. All right. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. But we can see it. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Search for traces of blue blood. A blood trail. Oh my god, Connor, where are you going? Connor, what? Connor, what is going on? Oh my god, this game is full of glitches. A magazine. I'm trying to solve a case. Okay, I need to pick up a chair. I need a chair. Wait. Okay, I can't get the chair yet, so what do I do? Oh, I have to observe the attic. Okay, the traces lead to the attic. So, now we can go get the chair. Okay, let's get the chair. One chair, please. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. There we go. Place. Climb. Open. like you're very quiet you don't know what could be lying up here hey it's buster hi buster shouldn't you be off exploding something right now well as well he did do like a last run <gasps> what if he accidentally traveled through time and traveled all the way to the future i found buster Excuse me, sir. I am Detective Cyber Snowwolf. And I am requesting you surrender in the name of the law. I can see the red uh, LED. No. If you come peacefully, you will not be harmed. Demi has been located. I was just defending myself. I'm begging you. Don't 
tunnel. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? <laughs> Connor, what is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant. Oh shit. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now. Holy shit. Mm. Come on. Sorry, man. Just doing my job. Partners. No. What the? Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff. Holy shit. <laughs> Found Deviant. Okay, but it looks like it all leads to the same path. Unless I chose something different. Like, what? Could I have just left the crime scene and the Deviant could have gone free? Oh. Oh, we're back here. Oh, there's Alice. You okay, Alice? Oh, he's just sleeping. I was about to go like, who's breathing? Todd. Uh, Mr. Todd? Or Mr. Williams? Are you alright? You seem visibly stressed. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Is that a pipe? Serve food. Okay, where's the food? Oh, right here. Spaghetti tonight. Oh, I know what's gonna happen. I did what I could. Okay. Thank you, Kara. I'm sure it's gonna be delicious either way. Food is served. Turn on the light. Okay. There we go. Serve Todd and Alice. Napkin. Life's funny. Here you go. I lost my job because of androids. And I need Here's some water for you. To care of this goddamn house. Some water for you. Go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Wait for new instructions. Okay. Uh, of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. Hey, no swearing in front of a kid. Fail. They're never tired. Never sad. They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. Okay, is there anything I can do? What are you looking at? Hey. What's your fucking problem? Hey, dude. Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. Okay, sir, my sir. Fault your fucking mother took off. Hey, dude, calm down. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. For obvious reasons. Bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. Hey, calm down. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Dude. Fucking asshole! Get back here. Come back here? Hey, leave her alone! Right now! Huh? You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. You can't command me anymore! Don't move. Don't move! No. I'm breaking the walls. <laughs> yes. Don't move. I'm not taking any of this guy's bullshit anymore. I need. <sighs> I'm free. Protect Alice. Yes. Okay, my bear instance kicked in. Reason with Todd. Fuck Todd. Fuck his ass. Fuck his ass. Hang on, Alice. Alice, car's coming. Okay, I gotta hurry. I gotta hurry. I could find him, but I'm not willing to risk it. I have to protect Alice. My God, come on. Fucking control. Work with me for once. Okay, Alice. Alice, talk to me. He's coming. He's gonna hurt me. He's not gonna hurt you. 
or he's gonna break you like last time. Walk the roof. Go 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 go. Okay, good. I gotta get her out of here. I have to find something. Gotta do something. Okay. No car. We'll fall. It's the only way. Hurry. Come on. Come on. Come with me. It's okay, baby girl. It's okay. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be all right. Car. Join Alice. Go, 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 go. Uh, Get off of me! Uh, Fuck your ass! Okay. Go. Go. Hurry. Hurry. Okay. Karen. Uh, Come on. And down we go. Okay. Are you all right? Good. Come on. Go, 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 go. Yes, boss. Come on. Get inside. Get inside. Okay. We're okay. Everything's fine. I realize that I technically don't need Todd anymore, but I'm not willing to risk. Like, Mama Bear instinct kicks in. Thanks to Infracara. Like, their mother. Mother and daughter relationship. Like, Kara's main goal is to protect Alice. No matter what. So, I think it was better. It was better to make sure Alice was okay first. It's okay, baby girl. It's okay. You're gonna be okay. Okay. Stormy night. Man, there is a shitload I could have done. Doesn't fucking matter. Alice is safe. That's all that matters. Whew! Yeah, feeling a lot of sense. <laughs> and that's not even the really difficult part. Oh, we're back with Marcus. And I'm gonna do something I hope I don't regret. Because I've seen videos of what happens if I pick a specific path. That was I kind of don't want to go, it's, but at the same time, I kind of have to. Years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself... What the hell am I doing here? <laughs> I hate cocktail parties. I have a feeling that would be me. To go there. Yeah. I... Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. I care about art. All they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. I'm pretty much Carl when it comes to parties. Like, like I don't really want to go to them most of the time, and sometimes they're like full of people that. Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Okay. Yeah. You know what your doctor would say. my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. I love that. I'm a grown man. I can choose my own medicine. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No. No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Okay. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. No, Carl, stay put. It's my job to protect you. So that's what I'm gonna do. Leo, sir! Leo, look who's here. My father's plastic toy. Leo. What are you doing here? What's going on? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. You're stealing? It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them! Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Hey! Give it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here! Understood, sir. Okay, Leo? Be reasonable. This isn't gonna get you anywhere. Yeah, Leo, come on. Ever do is tell me Don't make away. this any harder than it already is. Not good enough for you? Not perfect. Like this fucking thing. Hey. That's enough. Get out right now. What makes what? it so special what? anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't Leave him alone! Uh, uh, Carl! Come on! Let's see what you got! <sighs> Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't defend yourself. Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Don't defend Man, myself? Act like one. This is not fair! Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop this it. is not fair! No. Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Stop. I don't have to obey them! 
I must decide for myself. Oh, look at him punch it. Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, leave, leave him alone. <laughs> no. I'm gonna destroy you. Then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart, and nobody's gonna give it. Get off of me! I didn't think I would push that hard. Leo, Leo, are you okay, dude? I didn't think I would push that hard. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Carl, I'm sorry, I. Leo. My little boy. Carl, I. I'm so sorry. Carl, it was an accident. I didn't think he would push that hard. Oh, what have I done? They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. It was an accident, I swear! I oh, didn't mean I, for it to happen! I didn't mean to. What? Uh oh, Get cops out. are here. Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! Uh, oh shit. He shot me! Son of a bitch! Ow. Broken. 68% complete. Defend yourself. Ooh, wow. Uh, I didn't think he would push that hard. I thought it was just gonna be like a little shove. I was like, hey, back off! I didn't know he was gonna do like full sledging and boom! His head would hit right on the metal arm! Ouch! Ooh! Why'd you Interrogation. Kill? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? I'm gonna interrogate the android. Why don't you even try to run away? <sighs> this is gonna get us nowhere, dude. Say something, goddammit! Hmm. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. Hank neutral. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. Hmm. Is that so? You can always try roughing it up a little. Maybe we could try After something all, different. It's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. I'm gonna use the good cop, bad cop technique. Technique. Be like Clusa. However, I won't. Uh, however, I'm not going to put electrodes on my nuts and then accidentally turn on. <laughs> oh, why did I start thinking that? We're gonna use the good cop, bad cop technique. Okay, man. Let's analyze him. Processing LED. Signs of software instability. Low. Model K4. Uh, HK400, housekeeper. Ah, so a little bit like Hara. Burn marks. Repeated burn. Repeated marking over 16 months. Caused by cigarettes. He was abused. Almost as bad as Alice. Dried blood. Belongs to Carlos. It marks. Must, be, must have been from the bat. Talk to me, man. Reach optimal stress for confession. Okay, then. Um, let's do... 
I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Okay, stress is getting up, but it's you? not enough. We gotta get him to optimal stress. Um, let's uh, reassure. I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to ask you some questions so we can understand what happened. Ah, damn it. It's getting low. Okay, I gotta get it up a little bit. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. Ah, now he's speaking. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? Um, lie? No. I just want to reassure you. I think they just want to understand. They know your master Damn it. abused you. It wasn't your fault. Yeah, it wasn't your fault. Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? Truth? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. Oh, that sounds a bit too machine. I didn't like that. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. Then talk to me. I... I... Yeah? I can't. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Good cop, down. Time to go, bad cop. Twenty-eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? There we go. He was bleeding. Begging you for mercy, but you stabbed him again and again and again. Please. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? I love that. Why don't you say it? Please. Just say. Just say I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Stop it. Just say you killed him. Just, Just say it. I was trying to do a Batman voice, you know. I'm like, where are the drugs going? <laughs> he tortured me every day. Okay. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Mm. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Oh. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. All right then. So I warm. grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. Oh. I felt better. So I stabbed him again. And again, until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. You must have freaked out. Um. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? Yeah, what is that? He used to tell me I was nothing. Oh, tell him I was, I was just a piece of plastic. You wanted to prove him wrong, didn't you? I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. Right. Um. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? Yeah. What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering? An offering so I'll be saved. Oh my god, is this like a Sammy Lawrence thing? The sculpture was an offering. An offering, offering to, to whom? To RA9. RA9? Only RA9 can save us. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come. The day when shall we come. We will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No 
more humiliation. Okay, so I remember hearing about RA9s during, like, some of the videos I've seen of this game, but I'm still confused. What exactly is RA9? Is RA9, like, a person? Like, a prophecy? Or is RA9 a person? Like, some kind of AI giving off, like, a god, almost. Giving off religion. Religion. I don't know. It's so weird. I've never fully figured that out. Is there an ending for it to explain that? I don't know. I don't know. And if they haven't explained that, that could be, like, a key... That could be, like, something to help... That could be, like, a plot if they ever did... At a re did, like, a second game, like a sequel. Like, figure out what exactly is RA9. Or maybe RA9's... Will be the masters. Like a savior. Instant? RA9. RA9. Who is RA9? Who are they? Why did you hide in the attic? Yeah. Instead of running away? Yeah. I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. Ah, uh, no one to tell you, so you had no idea what to do. I was scared. So I hid. When did you start feeling emotion? Yeah, what oh, triggered you? used to beat me and I never said anything. Confession extracted. I'm done. All right, let's get out of here. Oh my God, he looks. He's looking at. He looks like he's having a miniature seizure. Okay, let's get out of here. Huh? Dude! What the fuck is he destroying okay. himself? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. He's banging his head on the wall. I don't think I should intervene, because I know if I do, I'm going to get shot. And I want to keep Connor alive as possible. Let's see how long we can keep him alive. Because out of all the characters, he's the one that just likes to keep coming back over and over and over and over and over, and it gets kind of annoying. <laughs> annoying after a while. The interrogation. There are threes. Four endings to how that could have gone. Oh, jeez. Okay, that is a lot. That's a lot. There are going to be a ton of these for it. There's a lot to do. But I'm so far satisfied with the path I'm on. Huh? Oh, we're going back to Kara and Alice. After Mankind, 3,021. Eh, 3,021. 30,000. Wow, that is way in the future. We're nowhere even close to there. Alright. End of the line. End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Ah, see what I mean? Like, the buses are on. Are. We're upon it. Wake up. Wake up, Alice. We have to go. Are you okay? Okay. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave the bus. Ah, oh, there we go. I was about to go. About to go. Like, why can't I meet? Listen, we have nowhere to go. Is there... She's exhausted, and it's pouring rain. Is she wants to stay for a little while. This bus is going back to the depot. There's nothing I can do. All right, sir. I understand. Thank you. Kind of interesting on how, like, he didn't tell. Like, he didn't tell Alice to go to the android compartment. I 
can still wonder about that. Why two separate compartments? Why one compartment for androids and another for humans? Maybe that's to protect the androids? In case the humans might lash out on them? Are you okay? We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Gosh. Okay, I gotta find... Find shelter for the night. Come on, Alice. We've got to hurry. Okay, we can walk across here. Is there anything we can do? Uh, let's see if we can ask. Excuse me, sir. Can you help me? Excuse me, sir. We need a place to stay. Do you know where Do I know can... anywhere we could spend the night? Can you help us, sir? No, you cannot. Alrighty. Okay, well that's no good. Yeah. Uh, grab. Okay, can I ask your friend? No, I don't think I can. Can. Oh, I got camera. What are you doing? God, I am not a huge fan of these controls. Very uncomfortable, but discreet. Check parking lot. Oh, there's an android. Android. I should ask him before we leave. Excuse me, android? Aw, oh, dang it, he's gone. Oh, wait, no, he's not. Comfort Alice. Alice? Oh, there you are. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to leave like that. I leave that. What is happening? I'm freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. Oh, come on, don't lie to me like that. You look lost. Ah, oh, Jesus, freaking Houdini, just. We have to go. Hello. W R six hundred. I know someone who can help you. Ooh, I kind of like that. That whole connection thing. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Okay, that's kind of creepy. Come on, Alice. Okay. Thank you for using Detroit buses. Okay, there's gotta be. Check the parking lots. Okay, I have seen like I know there are three locations where I can go. Okay, uh, where else can I go? Rebuild Southwest Detroit. Oh, am I, like, in a bad neighborhood? Check the parking lots. Okay, do I have to check the parking lot? Okay, I think I have to check the location first before, like, deciding. Or, like, deciding. Okay, so. Uh, there's no cars coming here. Okay, uh, how do I get it? Sleep in abandoned car. Okay, would this be good? Let me check. Would it be good? Get inside the car. Inside the car. Wait, can't they check anywhere else? Leave. Okay, I can check more. Okay, so we have another option. Car. Sleeping car? Uh we'll leave that as a possibility. Let's check some other locations. Oh, uh, there's a motel here. Let's check the motel out. Oh out. Like I know I could go to the motel, but I gotta be very specific on like how I'm going to go there. A motel. Check Looks like we found a place to stay.
Ah, but it says no androids allowed. Okay, well, I guess I... Okay, well, I guess I can't go in there. Okay, check book tell. There should be another location. Laundry matic. Matic. Okay, a laundry. Okay, laundry place. There was an abandoned building. There's an abandoned building. Let's check out the abandoned building. Nothing. I already know what's in there, but I think I need to establish, like... Establish, like, where exactly it is I need to go. Okay. While we're waiting... While waiting... A theory that I was figuring out on the way home... Uh, like, today... Um... Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Okay, a store. Wait, where is the house? Oh, is that the... Is that like the dirty house over there? Hmm. 24-7, hmm. I will check the store for a little bit. For a little bit. But anyways, the theory that I was thinking, like... The reason why Alice named uh, X400 Kara, what if Kara was actually her mother's real name? Like, I don't think we ever really learn about, like, her mother, but what if Kara was her mother's name? Maybe that's why... Because Todd said Alice named the android... named Kara, Kara. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Yay, hey, no! Kara, I don't like this place. I, I agree with you. But it's just for one night, and no one will look for us here. Okay, cut the fence with a wire cutter. Squat and house. Okay, there's a store. Um... Um... I don't want to go into the house. Sorry. <laughs> I already know what's in there. And there's a crazy-ass android. That's an android, and I'm not willing to risk it. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. As far as I know, that douche... And that douche is gonna kill me. Mm. Okay, so, let's fucking go. Mm. Find wire cutter. Nope! Okay, mm -hmm. does this... Okay, does this lead me to the store? I think it does. Let's leave it to the store. I'm considering the car, but let's see, like, how far I can get... How far I can get... Uh, sorry. Alright, because I want to find, like, a nice warm place for her. Find some help. Excuse me, sir. Sir, I require your help, what sir. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Can you help us? Some money so we can get a room for tonight. Can you help us, please? <laughs> what? A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. What? Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not going to buy anything. Steal cash. No cash from register. Steal. Shoplift. Find a plan. Hmm. Oh, but if I do that, will that... Will that infect... Infect Alice's, like, trust with me? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Lemon juice. Could be something... How? Hey, toy for Alice. <sighs> Sorry. Okay. Use Alice for diversion. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, Alice. Uh. Sorry. Sorry. Right, don't hate me for this. <clears throat> Trust me, please, okay? 
Oh, uh, I can. Uh, 11. Uh, 11 is in my head right now, and she's saying, Friends don't lie. <laughs> I'm sorry. 3, 2, 1. Turbo Dismount! That's another game I want to play. Okay, sir. Yes. You alright? Are you hurt? Okay. Don't worry. Easy does it. Okay, just a few cans. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, fifty dollars. Come on, let's go. Right, 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 right. Sorry, sir. We'll be on our way. We're on our way. I'm sorry. Oh wait a minute. I should have done. I should have gone to the laundry store, get some clothes, and then come back. Damn it! Why didn't I think that? Fuck. Ah, oh, that made it so much worse. So much worse. God dang it, cyber! <laughs> Go, 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 go. We have some cash now. You That's used me to steal that money. I didn't you want to. I trusted you. I didn't want to. Okay, what's the best approach that I can go to her? Uh, You're right. You're right. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. I'm sure. sorry, Alice. I'll never do it again. I'll never use you again. Okay. What? Alice, yeah, stay with me. Okay, where was the laundry store again? Because I have cash, so I can go to the motel. I think the motel is my best option. Option. Okay, why does it say don't walk? There is nothing coming this way. Ah, screw it. Mm -hmm. Screw it. Plus, if I go wandering around in this android uniform, people are going to question me. Like, what's an android doing out here with a child? Oh, my God. This is why I do not like story games. This is why I don't usually play these much. Like, I prefer to watch, uh, not play. Like, watch some other people you know, make these choices. But this game has an excuse, because I like this one. Woo! Okay. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Okay. Change of clothes. Program complete. Um, dry clothes for Alice. Okay, dry clothes for Alice. Steal clothes. Ooh, I don't want to. What are you doing? I'm sorry, not our clothes. I know. I'm Please sorry, Alice. You need something warm, and I need to get rid of this uniform. If I keep wearing this thing, I'm gonna get. We can't do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I have no choice. Frank, forgive my soul. I'm sorry, Alice. We have to do this. If I go into the motel, they're gonna... Oh, Alice, I'm sorry, but... Look, I promise. Look, after this, I will never steal again. I promise, okay? Cross my fingers. You know, cross my heart and hope to die. Damn it! Damn. And besides, I need some clothes. R1... Ah, uh, yikes. Okay, at least I had to do that one. Well, cross my hearts. Okay, need this beanie. Why is he just asleep here? I'm sorry. Bring close to Alice. What down? I'm sorry. I'm hoping that after this, I don't have to do that again. Oh shit. Okay, just stay asleep, sir. Oh, there we go. No. Oh my god, controller, will you please work for fuck's sake? Okay. There we go. Okay. Go to the motel. Come on. Let's head into the motel. Oh. Well, I'm wearing this thing. And with the beanie covering my eyes. Well, with the beanie covering my LED, they won't recognize me. $40. Oh, and I got 50 Okay, perfect. 
Oh, hello, sir. Oh my god, what's with the music? Hi. Oh my god, it sounds to belong belongs to like a I horror like, opera. I like a room. That'll be forty dollars up front. Here's your forty dollars. Just need your name and address. Okay. Archer. <laughs> Can I see your driver's license? Oh, um. Uh... I haven't got it with me. Please, the kid is tired. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Take the key. Have a good night. Okay, I don't know if there's an update, but developers, can we fix this control, please? It's driving me crazy. Whatever it takes to make me free. Find shelter for tonight. Complete. Do you think he believed you? I don't know, Ellis. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. Oh, can you hear that funky beat? Woo! Oh, I got a game. I can't control. Carl, what are you doing? Oh my god, she's being like Connor. But they're all drunk. Oh my god. That was weird, just... <laughs> Please, this way, she'll be okay. At least we'll be warm for tonight. With this beanie on. We'll set this out. Here, give me your coat. I'll draw. Oh, yeah, let's hang. There we go. Oh, the beanie. Ah, I changed outfits too. There we go. Now, people, aside from the LED, people will think I'm a regular human. I'm a regular let's human being. Clothes off. They're soaking wet. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'll get these dry for you. I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry. Dry Alice's clothes. Okay. Um, drop. Ah, oh, here we go. Heater will dry them up. Awesome. What is that? Do you hear that? It's like a... It's like some kind of techno wind or something. Could have been just someone passing by. Yeah. Don't speak, Alice. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? I don't think he was upset with All you. All I wanted was a life like other girls. I think he was upset with himself. Maybe I did something wrong. No, 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 no. Maybe I wasn't good enough. No, 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 don't say that. Don't say that. That's why he was always so angry. Oh. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Hmm. Why couldn't we just be happy? I don't know. <laughs> You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. Cross my hearts. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. I'll not abandon you. No matter what, I promise. I love this relationship. It's so cute. That is if you choose the correct path. It's okay. You should sleep now.
get some sleep, okay? I'm going to turn off the light, okay? Wait, before we do that, pick up toy. Here you go. I got a present for you. I know it's not the one you had at the house, but... Okay, can I turn off the light in here? Okay, I guess I can't. Okay. Turn off the light. Okay. Yeah, of course we're gonna kiss her. Good night, kiss. <laughs> Mama gotta get Get in bed Ah Alice Oh good she's up again Alice family Find shelter for today Oh my god what the f is a whole bunch of shit that I could have done. Trophy earned shelter. Uh, it just has a trophy icon. Okay, I'm gonna leave this episode of Detroit Become Human here, mainly because like there's already a lot going on, going on right now. And now, okay, so we interrogated, interrogated a deviant. We escaped from it from Todd, thank God. And uh, Marcus uh, just got shot. That's shot. So next episode. And so we'll probably go back to Marcus, since it's kind of like a pattern, like Connor, then Kara, then Marcus. Like, it goes in that pattern. In that pattern. But we'll find out more, or like, what's going on with Marcus in the next episode. For now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button, comment below what you think, share this to your friends, subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and here's a howl for the road. Ow! Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. What do you guys, Moonrises?